Entrepreneurs are definitely made, not born. I've never met a born entrepreneur, in fact. I think what fuels that idea that entrepreneurs are born is the idea that entrepreneurship can't be taught, that entrepreneurship um, is somehow innate or too difficult to teach. And what Acton has shown is that you can teach entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is an art and it's a science and anyone can learn it if they have the grit and the commitment to the process. Acton is a very special place that doesn't run like any other school you've ever been a part of. Acton uses Socratic case study and the Socratic method in the classroom to examine entrepreneurial problems as though we were the actual entrepreneurs actually dealing with the actual problems they went through. So we sort of stand in the shoes of entrepreneurs and operate the business as though it were our own. And what this allows us to do is to see lots of patterns, to understand lots of different kinds of businesses, and most importantly, to make as many mistakes as possible in the simulation of Acton so that when we go into the real world, we bring experience that feels like we've actually already experienced and run more than 100 different businesses. In normal MBAs, they teach sort of formal knowledge and they talk about businesses and business cases like it was a hamster in a cage, like a science experiment. And they talk about it in the, in the third person. They talk about it objectively as consultants. And here at Acton, we stand in the shoes. We talk about cases and entrepreneurial problems from the first person perspective as though they're entirely our own. And we expect our students to prepare for each class as though it is their business and their business is on the line. And that mentality, both in terms of the intensity and the commitment to doing the work, but also the perspective that it brings as actually being in the shoes of the entrepreneur is unlike any other MBA program out there. At Acton, the three promises are that you'll learn how to learn, you'll learn how to make money, and you'll learn how to live a life of meaning. Most folks we encounter haven't learned how to learn. The education system in many ways has failed them and we do the work necessary to emancipate them from this kind of learning where you sit back, you lean back, and you receive learning. Mm -hmm. Students who learn that way never remember. When you talk to them years later, they've forgotten the lesson. The lessons that you learn in Acton are for life, and they are not just memorable, they're impossible to forget. As an Acton teacher, you apprentice in the art and the science of asking questions. As a Socratic teacher, you try and teach without talking. There's no lecture. I'm not delivering any content didactically. I'm simply getting the energy up, asking good questions, and managing the shape of the discussion with other questions. And so, unlike other schools where the professor is sort of the product, at Acton, each other is the product. We learn from each other, not from the teacher. And that applies to real life because that's what it's like in real life on an executive team or between co-founders who need to each show up incredibly prepared, ready to take a stand, ready to change their mind, and ready to shape and be shaped by others. Not just to have a passive experience or to exist within one job description. And so the way we run the classroom is the way you run the world if you're an entrepreneur. And so you get that training here from day one. If you were to be a part of my executive team, you would see a dynamic that is very much like an Acton classroom. It's full of Socratic questions, it's full of intense dialogue, it's full of lessons learned, there are many role plays where we're feeling out what a situation would look like or if we made a certain decision, what we would need to learn to do right. And Acton has helped me tremendously in my business to become a better leader, but it's also helped me become a better father, a better husband, and a better son, because this way of being with each other, this way of inquiry and curiosity and an openness to learning and the le learning the lessons behind the lessons and sort of what's really going on, um, that's unique and it's changed the way that I am in every dimension of my life. Acton is very much about living a life of meaning. We don't get just give you the entrepreneurial tools and frameworks you need to run a good business. We also help you ask the question, what should I make a business about? And how am I gonna integrate this business with my own life? 
and how does the business further my objectives as a person and as a family member, as a member of a community. And so that life of meaning, which is sort of what would traditionally be in other MBA programs, maybe a business ethics course, is a business ethics course on steroids where we really examine the human dimension, the personal dynamics about motivation, your relationship to self, your relationship to family, your relationship to impact in the world to align what you feel called to do or what your vocation is with the actual entrepreneurial mechanism that you're gonna go create. I teach all over in the curriculum, but my favorite cases to teach are probably in customers. I love customers because um, in any problem you come up against, whenever you're stuck, if you do the work necessary to get in the shoes of the customer and really see things from their perspective, the answers begin to show up. And whenever I'm stuck in my own life, I try and think about who's the customer, who benefits here, what's their intense need, what's their psychological reality, what alter alternatives are available, and what do they need really to flourish? And that helps me get into the creative space that I need to enter as an entrepreneur. And customer cases are also uniquely human. Every human is different, every customer is different. And so customer cases ask us to do some psychological work um, that is not just about numbers. Although numbers are often involved, how you feel about the numbers and how you're gonna act on the numbers is profoundly human and emotional and psychological in a way that I don't think we approach very often in typical business settings or in normal business schools that are unlike Acton. And many um, MBA graduates from other schools tend to be very stuck in their own shoes and invested in their own ego. And Acton students graduate in a way that takes their ego out of the equation and they go to serve customers and they're able to move between the shoes of different parties that they need to understand and work with and that ability to leave their own perspective and live and walk in others is a huge part of what makes them such great entrepreneurs and they are. I'll say something that most people don't say because I think at Acton we're too humble. Acton students do disproportionately well as entrepreneurs. They are disproportionately attractive as employees and as co-founders. Acton students have what it really takes to be an entrepreneur, and I hope you'll join us.